All right, everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Um, today, I thought I would go through some Tinkercad stuff with you guys. There's been a lot of interest in the different things that I 3D print. Um, for reference, I use a Creality CR10S Pro, but I think that the Creality Ender is probably a better bet for the beginner. And probably even for me, but I, I wanted a bigger table, but there's mods out there to get a bigger table. So anyway, I use a Creality printer. You should too. This is specifically about the Tinkercad though. I have access to better tools than this, but you don't. Um, and that's okay. There's, if you go to Tinkercad.com, you'll see that there's, well, it takes me to my dashboard. But uh, once you go to your dashboard, you can actually go over and do lessons and there's different different little lessons you can do on how Tinkercad works and then you can get into your design. So I started this for my drill jig. Um, the benefit to doing CAD, if you can do it quickly, is that you can go ahead and throw away a bad design and it doesn't hurt you. You don't care. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to create a new design. You should go through and go through all the uh, lessons and stuff like that first. So you get familiar. This is free to use. It's for anybody. So I know that there's better tools out there, but anybody can do this. So once you start a new design, it's going to give you a crazy, like, Farfanugan kind of name. Uh, so you can change it by just clicking on it if you want, or you can leave it like that. In the corner, if you click Edit Grid, you can change the units to inches um, if you want. Over here on the right, you have some basic shapes, which are pretty straightforward. So you just click it and drag it in. Okay, I'm going to make this, this little cone hat on the top. I'm going to drag that. Oh, that's the height. I'm going to drag this square down. I only want this to be half an inch high. Actually, I want this to be three quarters of an inch high. So I'm going to make that three quarters of an inch. If you click these squares, you see that you can change the length and the height. I'm going to make this 1.655. I'm going to make this 1.655. And I'm doing that because this is roughly the diameter of the hole in my Toyota flywheel. For now, I'm just going to drag it over there. You can go up here and you can change how many sides there are so it's not so chunky with this slider. So you click on the object and this pops up. You can give it a lot more slides. And then it'll look nicer when you're done. It really doesn't matter. It can have three sides and they would hit, but whatever. I'm going to drag another cylinder over. This one I'm going to make half an inch high. I'm going to make this, I measured this to be a little over four inches. So if you click the box, you can just type the measurement you want. You can also try to drag these, but it's easier to just, for me, to click the box and type the measurement that I want. I don't know if that's what I typed last time, but it's what I'm typing now. So again, go up here, give it some more sides, make it smoother if you like. Now this is a trick that it took me a little while to learn. So you click the little cone head to pick him up, and we know that this is half an inch over here. So we're going to raise that half an inch, drag it over. Obviously that's not centered, right? So how how do we center that up? And this, this trick was harder to learn in Tinkercad than I thought it should be. So I'm going to hit control A and that selects everything. And up here you have these tools. So you click a line and it gives you how you want to align it. So you can do it by height or by center. So I'm going to click, I want it centered this way. I want it centered that way. Now it's perfect. Then I'm going to click the group button. And this is now one item in CAD. And that's how you do that. 
for a whole pattern, you can do a bunch of complex math, but when you go over here to the where it says Tinkercad and basic shapes, you can go down to shape generators. And I happen to know that this one's on page 12 currently. Unfortunately, there's no way to search. So you just have to go through and find the shape generator you want. It's on page 13 currently. So either I was wrong or it's moved, both of which happens. Uh, the circular array is how you make holes. It's how I make hole patterns. So you, the, right now it's solid blocks in CAD, but you can click this and now it's holes, okay? And you could have done that for this too. If you wanted this to be a hole instead of a peg, you would have just clicked hole. We want the objects to be circles. It doesn't matter the direction because they're circles. I need 12 for my Mercedes crankshaft. They are at 360 degrees. I want them to be at 12 millimeters. This is a metric. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, and then here you can drag the size of the hole generator you want. So this is the size that I put last time, but it was a little bit too small in reality. So I'm going to try 3.635. And 3.635. So now I have 12 holes perfectly centered around a radius of 3.635 inches that are 12 millimeters each. It doesn't matter that they're sticking out because they're holes, and you'll see that in a second. So we control A it again and select everything. You see, we have two shapes one solid and one hole. Click a line again, center. Center, see how it scooted a little bit? So it's a little bit off. And then we want to group it again, and now you'll see how the whole function works once we group it. So it takes a second, and then bam, it punches out the holes. So now what I have is a jig that will perfectly center in my crankshaft, although I don't really know why I did that, because it doesn't need to go in the crankshaft, but it'll allow me to verify it. Um, or no, I'm sorry, this should fit in my Toyota flywheel perfectly. That's why I did that. I remember now. Um, and I have 12 holes that are 12 millimeters in diameter to guide my jig. So what I can do is print this overnight. And in the morning before I go to work, I'll go out there and plop it on the crankshaft and see if it lines up appropriately. Um, and go from there. So all you have to do at this point Real quick, I'll go back from shape generators up here. Go back to basic shapes. See, these line ones are holes. So you can do it like this by dragging in a cylinder and then making it a hole like that. And then dragging this over here would make it a hole, although you can't see it. Um, and there's an undo button like most softwares, so we can get rid of that. Or you can drag in a hole as is and then you can make it a solid if you want doesn't matter um so hopefully that helps you guys get started a little bit this is just meant to be a quick video it's not really meant to be a, a how to do cad but uh if you want to do some quick designs you know 200 bucks for a 3d printer and free software it makes it pretty easy to throw away a bad idea instead of trying to be married to it and trying to force it to work so hopefully this helps you guys out Hopefully you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on The Driveway Engineer. See ya.